In this video, we talk with some of the world's leading experts and explore the trends and drivers that are shaping the latest advances in the grinding industry. Abbott Machines, a remanufacturer of boring mills and cylindrical roll grinders based in Alton, Illinois, has been working closely with Salzer Metco and 3M to develop a unique application for grinding HVOF thermal sprayed coatings using abrasive belt technology. HVOF stands for high velocity oxygen fuel. It's, it's one of the five processes of metallizing and it's used for a lot of it as wear application coatings. Tremendous use in hard chrome replacement at this time. We're spraying tungsten carbide materials through a flame process. It might be a gas gun or it could be a gun that's run by liquid fuel. And these molten particles are propelled onto the prepared surface. You form a coating and you can grind finish these or leave them in an as sprayed condition if you need to. HVF is used over other types of coatings. Uh, for examples, it's got extremely high bond strengths. It's a very dense coating, less than 1% porosity in a lot of the carbide applications. It's used tremendously effectively used to replace hard chrome replace, replacement uh, for the fact that it's, it's a very green process. You don't have any effluents or chemicals that you have to dispose of. Uh, it's a very fast process. Uh, you can deposit coatings very quickly as, a, as compared to chrome plate. Uh, it also offers better wear resistance than chrome and better corrosion protection in chrome in a lot of applications. Many industries we're using coatings. You look at the aircraft industry for coating the jet engine components, uh, wear resistant coatings in those applications. You've got uh, petrochemical applications, sucker rod couplings, downhole plunger type tooling. Uh, you have automotive industry, might be using coatings on, uh, on valves. Uh, you might uh, use them for other applications in seats and so forth. Uh, you look at the uh, hard chrome replacement application, there you've got applications used in landing gear on, on, jet, en on jet aircraft. Uh, you also have applications in, uh, in earth moving equipment where you hydraulic cylinder applications, replacing hard chrome plate there. Since the coatings contain a high percentage of carbide, it becomes necessary to use diamond abrasives in order to grind efficiently. This is compounded by the fact that many of the applications require mirror surface finishes of 3 to 4 RA and stock removal can be as much as 40 thousandths to 60 thousandths of an inch on relatively large diameters. One of the big advantages to using abrasive belts is that they can quickly be changed for different finish requirements or cut rate requirements or from material to material on a wheel based grinder. Changing of wheels is somewhat cumbersome and can take a long time to change the wheel plus the truing and dressing required to get the part straight again can be considerable. We produce different belts that can be used on HVF coatings which would be diamond abrasives. Um, should we be grinding the chrome substrate we can use other more conventional abrasive materials um, as well as grinding steel with those types of products. Abrasive belts are, are well suited for HVOF coating uh, in the free cutting nature. They tend to cut very, very quickly in comparison to a, a comparable diamond wheel. The heat of the grind seems to be quite low. One of the advantages to using Trizac diamond abrasive belts in place of wheels is the ability to replace the belt very quickly and easily from grade to grade. We can start with a coarse grade roughing belt to remove the majority of the material uh, and get the dimensional accuracy. We can then quickly change from a coarse grade belt to a finer grade belt to achieve a fine finish on the carbide surface. With wheel processes to achieve finer finishes, typically wheels are not changed. A secondary process in super finishing or honing is traditionally used and that increases the process time. With belts you can change from your coarse grade to your fine grade in a matter of minutes to achieve your finish. It is not unusual that the time taken to grind one part with diamond wheels might be three to four hours compared to the abrasive belt process for the same part 
taking 20 to 30 minutes. At Abbott Machine Company, we have tried grinding HVOF several ways, and the only way that we have found it could be done is with a diamond wheel, which we found very hard to dress, and it caused a lot of problems as far as time and, and selection of grits. When we went to the diamond belts that we got from 3M, everything seemed to work out much better in that to change a belt on one of our uh, grinding attachments takes 60 to 90 seconds, where changing a wheel, even a diamond wheel, would take 30 minutes to an hour sometimes. And then if you had to, which you have to retrue the wheel, can take hours. With a bracy wheel, you're always fighting chatter on uh, finishes of any kind. Uh, you have to grind uh, also using uh, quite a bit of pressure to break a wheel down. But with belts, uh, they're very clean cutting. Uh, they use very little amperage compared to a conventional wheel. Several years ago, Abbott Machine developed and refined a belt grinding attachment that can be used to retrofit existing machines. In grinding HVOF, we found that with belt grinders, attachments work very well, and they're very readily adapted to a customer's machine, or if the customer does not have a cylindrical grinder, then we can supply him with one. In most cases, uh, we remanufacture them. We will go back with Manual controls are some of our customers want full CNC, completely automatic, which we're able to do. Now, some grinders that a customer wants to use uh, are basically worn out. And we will not just stick a belt grinding attachment on those unless it's capable of getting the geometry that we know they need. With new advances in grinding machine speeds, power, and software, Combined with greater concern for the environment and efficiency, the role of the grinding manufacturing engineer is forever changing. Many engineers are multitasking and they don't often have grinding experts within the facility. You have to be a jack of all trades. It's very important to understand grinding. It's, it's, they regard it as being a black art. And when you start to understand grinding, it's very deterministic and you can control the process. But you need training to be able to do that. And most people don't have that ability. So training courses are critical to help that engineer understand more of the theory behind grinding. They also need to understand tools that enable them to see the process and quantify the process. Data acquisition systems, vibration monitoring equipment, to quantitatively define the process and how to move forward. The engineer also needs to develop processes that are very productive and cost effective. But we don't want to throw operators at the process. The only way we can compete with with Asia is not to throw people at the process, but to throw automation and technology at the process. Produce more parts with less people, and those who are involved are better trained.